the bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, God, Jesus. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. He's like Romeo and Juliet. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> Route 66 I've heard of. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Travelling along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it? Having a look. Well, it's just, it's a it's a long one. It's um two and a half thousand miles. One of America's sort of first highways. You see, uh, the thing that worries me is is it is it America who's made this seem like it's a good thing to do? What do you because mean? they're well, I just think they're more excitable. When I was in Disneyland, we went some past some fruit on a boat. Three old women getting excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. Now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question. Uh, I've got an answer. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. No, no, but I think I get I get excited at things you should get excited about. OK, what was the last thing you got excited about? Smile. Smile, just smile, just fake it. No, fake, do a smile. See, you don't, know what you, you don't know what that feels like, do you? That's odd to you. No, let's show your teeth. Yeah? Yeah. That looks well, weird, doesn't really it? Really weird, I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. It looks weird. So, Route 66, you must have heard of that. Yeah, a car without a roof on it. Right. Driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. Right, there you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. It's just a road. It's tarmac. It's a road with cars on it. It's like any other road. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't think Americans come over here and go, well, oh, where's the M1? I can't wait to get on the M1. Is it the first road over there, the first proper road? First one across America. Everyone thinks the M1 is our first motorway, but it isn't. M6. Preston Bypass, that's the first motorway in the UK. But no one, you don't hear people going on about it. They don't get excited and going on the M6 tomorrow. I hear fucking bastard. It doesn't happen. Right, well, this is it then, isn't it? I'm in uh, California. Nice, isn't it? This bit here, the pier, is uh, that's the start of Route 66, and then I think it goes that way for miles. It's all right, beach though, isn't it? This is me, this. Loads of room. Not as clean as I thought it would be. There's pigeons knocking about. Which you don't see on Baywatch. All right, mate. Hope you arrived safely. I know you wanted a nice little convertible, so I've sorted one out. Just head over to your hotel, and the keys are on reception. All right? Have a good drive. See you later. See, that'd be good if I get like a Hummer or uh, any of these. If it's got aircon. I can't argue, can I? I asked for a convertible. Get your motor running. You're looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way. Born to be wild. It's not what I had pictured. In fact, I think I've seen babies in prams bigger than this. Why 
why do people say they want to do the Route 66 thing? Well, I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit and I'd love to have an orange, I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. Hi, right, boy. Thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you are uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing and a little donkey and that when you were younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in the dance craze in America at the moment. Um, it's called Glee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boy. See you later. Yeah. I'm shattered. Do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into Lionel Blair, just like that. Good, 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 okay? Do go, go like this. Hey! Hey! Yes, and now you see you're using your diaphragm. Woo! That's good, Carl. I think you can sing. So, we have a solo for you. You're gonna do a solo. That Hang means. On. Does that mean singing on my own? That's what it means. I can't do that. You don't want me doing a solo. Me, 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 me. That's so good! Me, 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 me. That's it! You know what, Carl, you you could do this solo. Done! Get the dancers in! No, no, I'm gone. No, no, wait, wait. Don't bring the sync dancers in yet. Honestly, I need to know this. Okay, it's just that, you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember, smile. See, we need a nice face like that. It's not fun for everyone, is it? She was going to see, you're having fun. No, not really, no. No, I'm not. But is it just an American thing? Do they have fun better than us? The word fun annoys me. Someone says, you're coming around having some fun. No, I, uh, I'd rather not, actually. I don't want fun. It's a word I just don't use. It's not my sort of thing, singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. Piss arsing about, jumping to Van Halen. Where's the doctors? The plumbers? When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. They need someone to come around and sing and dance. Loads of them. But we've got enough. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life-changing moment. Oh, Carl's finally found his destiny. I haven't... I don't want to do this. I've never been that embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic and stuff because of the things you've set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. It was exactly the same feeling it had in my dream as that. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not particularly sort of Freudian or <laughs> symbolic, right, as an anxiety dream. Because I often open the door when you're having a shit. Yeah, well, that's true, actually. So, yeah. it's, it's quite, it's quite a justified yeah, that's, dream. That's normal. 
Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. You just got to stretch your legs when you've been sat in a car all day. It's all this. Hello? 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 Jesus. What's it all about? Is it one man who's done this, or is it is it a touristy thing and you're meant to bring a bottle and stick one on when you're here? I think it's just one guy's house. He's got a serious drink problem, whatever it is, hasn't he? I mean, to be honest, it's scary that he's not in, because where is he? What is he doing? What is he do what, what's the, what is his life like? I don't know what I'm meant to get from it. I don't know if it's proving a point or if he's just a scruffy bastard. See, this is what they mean, isn't it, about it's not worth doing recycling back in Britain. Because there's me with my Marmite jar and my milk bottle and what have you. But if he's doing this, what's the point? I just always think about when it's time to move and you've got to sell your place. His, his target sort of market, there's not many people who would want this in the front garden. No one's going to turn up and go, do you know what, this is what I've been looking for. Two bedrooms, we're after that, load of shit in the garden. I got a text from Steve and he says this part of Route 66 goes through like the, the old hippie area. So he just wants me to stop off and meet Valerie. She's into new age healing therapy. Enjoy. <gasps> Was that just shouting my name? Hello? Carl? Hello? Hello? Valerie. Hello. I'm Carl. Carl. Nice to meet nice you. See you. Did you just shout my name? No, she may have. That's Kiwi. It's not doing it now. So you're a shaker? I'm a what? You're a shaker? Are you a hugger? Uh. You want a hug? No, this is all right. This is good. I've all just right. met you. Come in. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hiya. This is Clive. Clive. Nice to meet you. Clive. Hello. Hello. This is what we call the sandbox. This is Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey. This is our beanbag hangout, and it's held space for a lot of really beautiful gatherings, a lot of connecting. Would you like to see inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Want, yeah. This is where we'll be gathering tonight. Who will be? Could be 15 or 20 people. It's called Cuddle Party. Have you heard of Cuddle Party? No, I've never But hang on. I, yeah? I haven't been here long, but I've walked past four blokes, I one know. woman. Yes. So how does that work? They're coming. There'll be more women. You don't want to cuddle any men? Well, I don't want to cuddle strangers, really. Probably going to start at eight, so you and I probably need to go and put our pyjamas on. Why have I got to wear pyjamas? Because, look, I, I am so comfy now. I've got shorts on. Be nice and baggy. I'm getting air to my legs. Well... I'm relaxed. I think I'm going to encourage you to push yourself and put on some PJs. bucket list. What do you want to do, Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too relaxed, because then it looks like I am up for anything. But this is saying... I'm new round here. Is there any part of you that thinks you might learn something from it? No, I don't think there is. Touch can be very healing, and sometimes things come up we don't expect. So that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, 
that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge. Speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice <laughs> and communicating, <laughs> right? We do get questions here about erections, and they do happen from time to time. There's a level of discomfort, and what we're aiming for here is to be comfortable with that, to be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. do would you like to hug? <laughs> you, you're not ready to hug me yet? No. Because I think we're getting on without it. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Jackson. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I've, I've all honestly, it's nothing yeah. against you. Okay. I haven't hugged uh, Valerie. You haven't hugged her? No. All right then. Just because I didn't want to be pushed into. Well, I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's yeah. not like I came and I knew what was going on. I can't hug you now because then Valerie will be going, hang on a minute. Oh my God, are you making that up? Yeah, I know, Valerie you, wouldn't care. She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to and no, no to what you want to I'm say. I'm telling yes. you, it would bother you. Inside, you'd be, you'd be going, what is going oh, on? Oh, dear one. <laughs> <laughs> How long does this go on for this? <laughs> Are people paying to be here? Right, that's what it's about then. So of course she's going to say, yeah, cuddle's good for you. Of course, she's doing the cell job to us. She's not going to go, it's a lot of old bollocks, this, but don't tell anyone. But good on her. I always think, don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. But... You know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be OK? That's worse than a cuddle. That is a cuddle. That's more, that's more than a cuddle, that. What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's all right, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. <laughs> you do. In London, you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? Mm. You'd love it. <laughs> all right. That's enough fun for me, anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna, I've got to get going, because the traffic's... What? The traffic and that. What's about the traffic? <laughs> A uh, tourist attraction. Let's have a look. No else happening, is there? Big fish in a small pond. The sign says it's, it was an anniversary present. Bloke who built it. Built it for his wife. Odd gift, isn't it? And then the problem is, he did this. What do you get next year? You're just making yourself a bigger problem. Susanna Way says it's not about the gift. She says it's, it's the thought and everything. You, you never go out of your way to get me something, you know, different. She says she's always given me hints, but I don't hear her. Do you know what I mean? She sort of says, oh, I've told you I've wanted this, I've told you I've wanted that. You never listen. And then she gets fed up. That's the thing, you see about America, all that positive thinking and stuff. She has positive thinking. She thinks, right, I've told him I want a new ring or a pair of earrings, he'll get it me. And she has that positive thinking about it. But the problem with positive thinking, when it doesn't, doesn't, when it doesn't happen, you get negative. And most of the time, it doesn't happen. So she, she, she's pissed off most of the time. But she wouldn't want this anyway. Uh, just let you know, this part of Route 66 uh, takes you through the old Wild West where the gold rush happened uh, back in the past. And so uh, we've arranged for you to spend some time with a modern day gold prospector. All right, he's going to take you to his mine and you'll know you'll be, you'll be uh, searching for gold. And obviously, you know the old rule, finders keepers. So 
you know, dig well, search well, and uh, good luck to you. Bye bye. Looking for gold. Be good. I'll get Suzanne some. She's good because she'll be impressed with that present, and it's free, so we're both happy. Is this like a proper trailer park? Looks like it. I've heard of these. I mean, I lived in a tiny flat in London. But it was still a bit bigger than that. That is ridiculous. You can wash up whilst you're in bed. Do you know what would annoy me with that? If someone comes and you don't want to answer the door, they know you're in, don't they? Because there's nowhere to hide that. See, these are all right. These are like what we used to stay in in Wales. I, quite, I think I'd be happy with this. Because you just always feel like you're on holiday. <coughs> Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. I'm Carl. Nice to you? meet you, man. You all right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, just a bit hot. You wanted to find some gold? Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting some from my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck, and we'll go find some gold back there. All right. I bet you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? How's that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know. <laughs> Slow down a bit here. Slow oh. down. Oh. Oh. Jesus. You like that, huh, Carl? Is it not another way? Oh. It's proper mental, huh? And that's his commute. Every day. This is an uh, example of the explosion that we would get, you know, to open up a new tunnel. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the, this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. All right, everybody. Well, I get a bit further back because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. Are you sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. Just take your time and be, be at ease. You're, you're fine. Safe distance. Is it going to be loud? No, nah, not too loud. Fucking, it was loud. Oh, I thought you were talking about the explosion. No, I meant this. Oh, fucking hell. You want an earplug? Jesus. No, yeah, I just need a... Have you got another one? This for a coconut. Ah, uh, a little bit... A few inches too high. Rack too high, one that in. was too high. Fast, aim fast. Aim it on there and do it. Breathe, breathe, do it. There you go, Carl, you got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good stress release. They used to play on these all the time, at the fair. You know, where you had to hit a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. They used to always win coconuts. I don't know why it was always coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. I don't know why they always... That's the only time you see them, isn't it? You can't see them in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut, you've got to go to the fair. We'll let you light one this time. We ought to stick it in that crack right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? Is he serious? Blowing that up? Oh. Carl! Get behind me. How long do you reckon? Oh. Any any second now, say ten seconds. Count down, Carl. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh. Ah. You only got uh, what? 
It's an eight, huh? Did you feel the, the compression through the air? Sucks your ears. Yeah, it kind of kind of relaxing though, isn't it, to do that? Not really. No. No, no. Is that your idea of fun round here? Uh, it used to be, but I got blown up a while back. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I like the way you tell me that now. Yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. I don't. Is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never wanted to work down a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching for snakes. What about spiders? Oh, spiders. There's spiders anywhere. I can't be there. Like cave spiders. How big are they? What's that there? There's a bat. What? Oh, you stupid <laughs> bastard! Don't do that! What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> kind of felt safe with him. Oh, it's like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having Desperate down with me. One hand right here. Yeah. One hand right here. Yeah. Kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Went looking for gold. Didn't find any. Now you take it. So it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what I was relying on, really. Man. I'm after something bigger, though. I oh want yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I love. I like Joe though. He had his vest on. Ready for action. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. What was your other uh, rest of your trip oh, like? Went to a cuddle party. A couple parties, huh? Cuddle. A cuddle party? Mm. What the hell's that? Meet up in a tent and a load of strangers and have a hug. That's a new one on me. I hope they were women. They're both. <laughs> That's been one good thing, actually, about Route 66. It is a good um, sort of road to listen to music on. They're all a bit depressing, the songs are like, but good stories. Pinball Wizard, I've never understood that one. That's deaf, dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? He's got no senses there. Deaf, deaf, dumb and blind kid sure plays the mean pinball or something. He's no idea what he's doing. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. You could have just given some buttons to it. He's no idea what he's doing. Walk for miles. In the tree to have a piss at. It's not for me, that, is it? That isn't the next thing Ricky and Steve have got me. That's what I wanted. That's what I had in my head. All right, Roy. Um, you can stop moaning about the little car I got you now. So I've got you something bigger. All right. Always trying to please. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right. See you later. You Ronnie? Alright Ronnie. This fucking thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Happens every time. Neat Ronnie. Do we get to park a tire on this thing? A hard looking bloke. On this? Yeah, you know, he had that. tattoos on his legs. For me, that's that. when you know someone's hard. Not not the Ponzi ones either, not like Latin and all that, or uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. Just like this? Is that the only way in? Only way in. Doesn't use aftershave, smells of like WD-40. <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm not getting in this. I'm not getting in this. Fucking hell. You wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? No. You don't want you, you don't wanna go for a ride? No, not now? not with not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, there isn't even a proper seat. I can't get in this. Ronnie! Can you hear me, Ronnie? Ronnie! 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 Stop! Ronnie! Ronnie! Hey! Stop! 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 Ronnie! Right, that's fine. Wanna try it again? No, no, you're alright, Ronnie. 
No, I mean, look at the size of it. And yet it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck, it's just monster wheels. It's big wheels. And that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. If it had a monster glove compartment, that's more useful. Look at, look at mine compared to that. Route 66 was meant to be about freedom, but it isn't because it's really restricting. It's one road, and I don't think I like that in life. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of sat navs. Getting lost that's a good thing in life, I think, because that's how you find new things. When Columbus was in his boat, I wonder if he was trying to find America or if he just got in the boat and went, I'm going out for a Sunday, you know, sail, and he bumped into it and went, Bloody hell, look at this, I've found. I think my problem with Route 66 is it's already laid out and I'm just on it. It's not my journey, is it? Hello, Carl, Steve here. I know you're fascinated by people with different outlooks, different ways of seeing the world. We sort of had a little treat for you, spending some time with an Amish family. You know, they essentially live life like it's still the uh, 18th century. So uh, it should be interesting to see how you cope without all of the uh, mod gone. Aren't the Amish meant to be like great believers in sharing and all that, not being selfish? So th th this might be a good place to get Susanna a gift for free. Kenny. Hello. Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good. Good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning my head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How are <laughs> How you I'm doing there? I'm... Now, come on yeah. out, girls. Ooh. You were hoping to go inside, I bet. <laughs> you to get out of this. It's roasting. <laughs> Do you have suntan lotion? What's that? Suntan lotion. A hat? If you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's easiest. That's it. That's great. OK. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. You want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to you do that. You want to remove your shoes, go barefoot and get a treatment? No barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Get it delivered. Yeah. You just go on the, uh, on the computer, tick boxes, six eggs, bread, beans. They just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. They seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. Everything's in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult, and they want to skip being a kid. Yes, I, I love being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life, playing out on my bike. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, a, you see, I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think, but say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? James Bond. Like Haven't a... James Bond? Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not, mm -hmm. uh, uh... Is it kind of a mystery? No, he's, a, he's like a British agent. He's a, you know, undercover... He solves crime and he's been around for ages. Come on in. Let's have a look. Out of the, out of the sun. A little bit cooler down oh, that's here. That's nicer now, though, isn't it? Good news, Polly. Hi there. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know, I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present when I've been away. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. so I'm thinking peas, peas are fine. Uh, she's not going to like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with these. Honestly, they're like garden peas. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're not... They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. Keep, 
<laughs> OK. Mushy peas, that's the thing we have in England, mushy peas okay. with fish and chips. That is fine and it's a good size. Is that OK? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's OK. Just... It's kind of like, You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest of things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. Because she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. She's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. The Amish don't moan about it. And But while you're at it, get in the garden. Sort stuff out. Get off your arse. That's the thing here. They, they do graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish knocking about, and I've run the fat. Because they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air, they're not eating crap, they're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. It's just the beard that's daft. I don't think I could pull off a beard quite like you, though. Like that? I don't think I could suit a beard. Must die. Come on, boy. I think moaning's good for you. Makes you feel alive, a good moan, a good rant. So that's why I couldn't live in America. Because everyone thinks you should be happy, it's all about living the dream. If you're living the dream, how do you know you're awake or if you're asleep? It's exactly the same, that's what I quite like. I quite like having bad dreams, you wake up and you go, oh, thank God for that. If your dreams are better than your life, what is the point? Your dreams should never be better than your real life. Unless you're a sloth. Because then they're asleep a lot, aren't they? Got a text from Steve. He says, um, We understand you are getting a little bit bored of driving, so we have arranged a flight for you to see the end of Route 66 from above. I'm not a big fan of flying. He knows that. I've got to meet this bloke called Greg. Greg? Yep. Hey, Greg. How are you? Like I'm uh, about to do something I'm not looking forward to. You want to go flying? You see, I've never, I've never been in a plane that's open. That's open? Yeah, I sort well, of you... have that fear of wind hitting against me, not well, being able to breathe. You're not going to get to ride in the seat that much. You're going to ride up on top of the wing. That'd be your best view. Sick of it. No one seems to care. There's no need to do this these days. There's loads of cheap airlines. You can get a seat for a quid. Here I am, standing on a wing. You've got to grab hold of these. Remember, I'm going to be high up. You've got to grab hold of these. Pull yourself up. Put your foot. There, well, hang on. You should put your foot there. Look how tight it is here. You can't put your foot on that. You can't put your foot on that. It's like playing Twister. There's all these sharp things I keep catching myself on. These nuts and bolts. I'm not doing it, Jamie. Forget it. You've seen that I've tried. I don't have to do all this. It was Route 66 was the idea of the whole thing. He's always making me look like a knob. I mean, why have I got to wear this, really? Spider-Man at a funeral. Huh? I'm not doing it. What do you mean? I told you at the beginning. I said, it's Route 66. We had a chat. You talked about bungee jumping and all that other daft stuff. I said, I don't want to do any of that. I look like a right fucking knobhead. And there's an old... It's not even a new plane, Ricky. It's a really old one. We sat in your office. What's your worry? Are you... What, what's your worry? Is it safety? Yeah. It, honestly, it's an old... This, this, but Carl, this would look great. This would be a great ending to the, to the show when you're on there on a wing, oh, just whizzing along. But this is... You do it. You... No, because this is my bucket list. You'll be a hero. No. People love this. No. I thought you'd chicken out. So it's not chickening out. I've got some out. You are? You are? No, it's not, it's not chickening out. So, um, I've got some out to range for you. So, OK. <sighs> Well, do that instead then, mate. All right, then where is it? What, 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 what? It's no scarier 
than dancing with glee, trust me. But it does involve getting on stage again. And remember, okay, you've got to do one or the other. If you don't join in and get on stage, you've got to do the wing walk. Where am I? Yeah, this is International Mr. Leather contest, uh, 33rd annual International Mr. Leather in Chicago. Yeah, they, I'm, I'm not getting on stage wearing that. Idiot abroad. Okay, you said you weren't willing to climb Everest. What about climb Mount Fuji in Japan? Oh, is that nicer than the other mountains? Out of all the mountains, is that the best one? A free trip to Japan? A doddle. Enjoy. Jesus Christ. I've no idea where I am, what I'm doing. You're gonna end up killing me. Look at the size of it. Now, how did you like it? I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's enough. Look at this. Don't get stressed out with builders at home. They never turn up on time. When they do, I want them focused on the plumbing or whatever. It looks like it shit itself. The good thing is, Ricky and Steve haven't seen any of it. Who's the idiot? Oh, look how high it is. I'm not fucking looking. 